elevator? Oh, that's so cool. It's always the merchants. I'll be broken them up. Getting blocked down. <laughs> Not even making it back getting through, On account of the murder? So these people are mumbling, and one of the things is the city's on lockdown because of the murder. Stop right there. I was. In light of the recent attack, no stranger passes into Meridian without submitting to search. Recent attack? What are you talking about? The murder of Captain Ursa and her vanguards, of course. Ambushed by Shadow Carja forces in Redridge Pass. Ursa? You mean Arend's sister is dead? How would you know his name? I know Arend. Summon him. I need to speak to him. Ha! Huh. I doubt that Arend, the new captain of the Vanguard, a man in grief, is going to waste his time on a grimy outlander. Aloy! Hey, you're <laughs> alive! Ah! I thought you were dead! Make way! Make way! All the way to Meridian just to see me? Have you been drinking? Ah, uh, not really. A little. <laughs> so you're alive. This uh, we should celebrate. It drinks on me. We need to talk alone, and you need to pull together. Over there. So you approve? Of course I approve. From now on, she may come and go from this city as she pleases. Yay! As you wish, sir. There, alone as you asked. And what did you want to tell me? I missed your sexy face. I heard what happened to Ursa. I'm sorry. I know she was special to you. Special to me? <laughs> special to everyone. She always knew what to do. She bossed everyone around. She kept me in line. Oh. Now I'm supposed to fill her shoes. And instead, here I am, stumbling around again. Oh. It'll get easier. I lost someone too, or stop feeling sorry for yourself. I, uh. I lost someone too. At the proving, the man who raised me. His name was Ross. That's terrible. But why is it every time something terrible happens? Everyone else tells you the worst thing that ever happened <laughs> to them, so that makes it easier. Yeah, why is that? Anyway, there was something you wanted to tell me? It's interesting that the heart thing didn't work well with him. I didn't think it would, because honestly, I hate when people do that too. It's like they try to turn it around and say, well, your pain is bad, but my pain's worse. It's like, it's not what you're supposed to say. But also, I didn't like the idea of, it gets easier. Bull! Don't ever tell someone that either. Just say, so sorry for your loss. If there's anything I can do to help, please let me know. I, 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 just do that. Be honest. Don't say, oh, well, you know, I lost a hamster once, and it was traumatizing. I'm sure it was. I've lost hamsters, too. See? Like that. See? It's like it takes away from it. It demeans your thing. All right. Sorry. A lot has happened since we last spoke. The Proving was attacked by a group he of He was killers. there. Not many of us survived. We were in the village when we heard explosions up on the mountain. Some of your braves came back, said most of the contestants were dead. I've never heard such a wail of grief as the sound that rose up from your people. How did you survive? How I survived is less important than how I was targeted. Targeted? What do you mean? The killers came for me because of Owen. What are you talking about? That doesn't make sense. I need to find Olin. I need to know what he knows. But he's a friend. No, he's a traitor. I don't know who the killers are or what they want, but I do know that Olin is working with them. But, I mean, this... I don't need you to understand, Erend. I just need you to take me to him. He's not here. She's very he rude. scrounging for scrap and relics days ago. It could be anywhere. Are there any places he frequents? Places he returns to? A house. Here in Meridian. Okay, then take me there. I need to search it. I guess. As long as I'm there to witness the search. Yes. Absolutely. I need to see Olin's place. Now. So... Okay, okay. 
Come on. That is one thing. I like her. But I also think sometimes she's incredibly rude and demanding. We are all talking at once. How does anyone think? I don't. I just drink. Um. It, it, she's she's just very like demanding about nothing. Things that she has no right to demand. And so on that point, there's things like that that I don't approve of. I don't like that. Year after year, why does he spare those who enslaved and tortured and butchered? Aaron, you should want vengeance more than anyone. Your own sister, murdered, and her death, unavenged? One more word, you scorched out slag, and I'll throw you in jail myself. Now get out of here, or I'll give you all a kick in the ass. That's what I like. Yes, sometimes she can be very curt. Not now. But it's not even that. It's. It's like she. And and I understand it. She lacks social graces. Okay, how are we gonna get in? <clears throat> oh, that was subtle. Here we are. Try not to break anything. Other than the door. Other than the door. <laughs> it pays to have connections in the Sun King's court. Right. Let's see what's underneath. Hey, how did that get here? <laughs> Question is, how to get through it? Without a key, you won't. That's a vault hatch of Azaram make. Nothing gets through. We'll see about that. Talk. What? Talk to him again? I don't think you're getting through that hatch. Are you sure you're okay? I'm sober enough, all right? I don't need another lecture. That's not what I meant. I was talking about what happened outside. See, now she's being nice. I don't want to talk about that. We're here because of what you said about Owen. So, do what you need to do. Okay. Did Olin ever invite you in? Nah. Closest I got was a doorstep to help him home after a night out. He drank a river that night, but I hold it well. Y usually. <laughs> you said Olin has connections in the royal court. Does he know the Sun King personally? No. He served the court as a scout sometimes and sold ancient trinkets to nobles, but he never had an audience with the king. If you're right and Olin's into something dark, Sun King Avad has nothing to do with it. I'd stake my life on that. Okay, I'll look around. That's what we came for. Alright, now, is this one of those things where it's going to change now that I found that one thing? No. Perfect. So let's go upstairs. Call it a day, girl. You're wasting time. Am I? Am I? This is a family reunion. It looks like a picture of Olin's family. It looks like a picture of Olin's family. Okay. A lot of metal here. Be just what I need. Oh, really? Are we really doing this? Looks big and heavy. Could do a lot of damage if it fell down. Let's give it a little push. Be 
feel like this was a bad idea. I did say not to break anything, didn't I? I slipped. See, see, like that. Th this. She should have gone down and talked to him. And told him, hey, what if we did this? I know you don't really want to, but I feel like there's something wrong here. Or when he yelled at her, for it was like, don't break things. For her to just be like, meh. child captive they who's they the killers they told him to obey or they'd kill his family the map the glyphs show places he visited Looks like Olin kept a journal. Olin? I knew he could read contracts, but I never took him for a poet. No doubt now. Olin knew I was targeted. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Megan? I like how sometimes we can actually get a bunker. Naman, Uncle Pilgrim, Steward, Raven. We can actually get some people's names. That's pretty cool. There's your proof. Read the last page. He writes about meeting me and the order to kill me. He called himself a friend. That backstabbing cheat. How did you learn to read glyphs? And these things that you see, how do you do it? The focus. It reveals the unseen. And Olin's focus. It's the same? The device is the different. same, but somehow Olin and the killers can speak to each other with their focuses over distances and see through each other's focuses too, like looking through each other's eyes. So that's how the killers saw you? Through Olin? Yes, so far as I can tell. Now that I know where to find Olin, I should be on my way. All by yourself? Leave it to me. I'm faster on my own. Wait. If that device lets you see the unseen... Out of the way, Erend. I'm asking you to help me, Aloy. Yeah. I need to know who killed Ursa. Not yes. just the, the Shadow Karja army, I know that. But the exact soldiers who did it. I'm sorry about your sister, but that's your war, not mine. What? Me. Help him! Don't act like this isn't personal. You came here hunting the people who nearly killed you, who massacred your people. Why should you have justice and not me? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look, I'll head for Red Ridge Pass, where Ursa's body was found, and wait for you there. A few minutes of your focus is all I need. Don't make me beg. Red Ridge Pass, you said? I'll see what I can do. A hundred percent, you're going to help him. Gosh. See, she's being a jerk again. Oh, no, I'm busy. I can't do that. Yes, you freaking can, honey. Where is this one? Ooh, we can find out artifact. We were left thinking about going up there. Oh, my goodness. There's so many things here. All right. Um, where is this one? That's past it. All right, so, so yeah, we'll do this one first. Uh, our notebook. Oh, data points. Unknown man, serve and they live. Disobey and I will open their throats and leave their corpus to prune in the sun. That was the thing we found with him. Uh, oh wait, did we find another one? 
Oh, and then his journal. Oh, it's his actual... So, Olin's journal, scanned blips. Fourth day. I am a traitor now and see no way out. If I start at the beginning, how they turned me, perhaps I can see something I missed. No, there is no escape. What can I do writing if... What good can writing it do? Tenth day. You gave me this folio when you taught me to write. All these years later, it smells of you. Lavender and ash of the forge. All I have left of you. Write my notes, you said when you gave it. Share your thoughts, tear the leaves, send the pages. To show I'm thinking of you. But I never did. Hands too grubby to touch parchment. How I wish I'd done as you said. How I wish I could now. Fifteenth day. The same dream. Your hair in the forge light. Our sun's weight on my shoulders. All of us free. You turn to me and whisper. It is a dream, I answer. Yes, I know. And then awake alone. Even awake, my life is a dream, a lie. My treachery will not buy your freedom. It only buys time. But every moment you live, that he lives, if treachery is the cost, I will pay it. 34th day. Every week the device calls me in secret to a new dig site. We work like men with whips on our backs, as though it was left to us to upturn the soil of the entire earth and time has run low. Scrabbling to find the carcasses of ancient demons. It's the weapons they want, must be. The, what misery am I helping birth into this land? 38th day. I drink with Erend and Ersa, but not even the sweetest brew can wash the taste of guilt from my mouth. Every day my silence betrays them. The villagers watch through the device. I keep expecting Ersa to stick a blade through my throat, but fire and spit, she does not suspect me. A better liar than I thought myself must be. 54th day. Fitful sleep the past three nights, thinking of the Nora girl. Why did it order her killed? The device must be. Even so, what threat could she pose? We heard explosions and distant screams from the village. I thought the savages might blame us, turn on us. I almost wished for it, but their matriarchs ordered us gone. We fled to the border with the escort of the braves, cross a day tower. Now I am called to a dig in the rock wreath. reef. They promise another glimpse of you and our son. I hope to see you both. I mean, this is sad. I definitely, like, agree with that. Like, that's that sucks. It's his, it's his family. It's his children. What is he going to do? But, unfortunately, probably not betray the entire people. Especially because it definitely seems like his sister might have been killed because of this guy. I feel like that's all related. What is he doing? He's just chilling here? Why are you chilling here, dude? Shut up. Oh, he's just... He's just mad. Okay, cool. Great. Let's go. Uh, let's go see some of these random other quests that are available. Uh, let's go to this one first. Okay. Fire breathers. Awesome. Am I going the wrong way? Yep, I went the wrong way. <laughs> I was hoping I could cut through. There was no cutting. I'd like to discuss a trade with you, Outlander. Sure. You're looking for artifacts. Oh. Yes, but I'm no profiteer. Sun King Avad has named me an envoy to the Banuk. I work on their behalf, looking for sacred relics to return to their homeland, Ben Ur. Oh! I'm especially interested in wooden figures that are sometimes found near Banuk rock. I have one! If you have any, I have valuables to trade for them. You said the king named you an envoy to the Banuk? Yes. I've been to Ban Ur many times, and the Wirek chiefs trust me. I help them maintain diplomatic ties with Avad. Nice. Some say they're a mysterious people, but their ways make a lot of sense to me. All you have to do is be the best. Doesn't matter if you're born high or low, man or woman. They respect skill, not some fool notion of heritage. Nice. I see the appeal. 
I wish more Karja did. Anything they don't understand, they call backward or savage. It's true. Tell me more about these Banuk figures. Simple wood sculptures made by Arnak, a legendary hunter who was exiled from Van Ur for killing his chief. Mm. He left the figures near painted stones in places that reminded him of his homeland. Later, his tribe declared him innocent. Now they see him as a kind of wandering hero and want those figures back. I do what I can to help him get them, including trade for them. If you have any. I do. You ready? Let's trade then. Where is my... Where is it? She has maps. Oh, I already own all these. Oh, okay. Well, lame. Okay. Come on back if you find any Banuke goods. Excuse me, Outlander. I didn't know you wanted two. Artifacts. Kind of rude of you. No, I'm good. It's a tiny hobbit hole. Go in the hobbit hole. No, you can't. Can I, can Found I jump? any Banuk relics in the wilds, Outlander? Oh, come on. Let me jump. I climb mountains. I've got all the best goods here. I pay well for Banuk relics, Outlander. We're okay that there's just blood on the ground? Okay, cool. I see someone. Able-bodied adventurers. Preferably Oi there, Outlander. Name's Vilgun. Did you come to the city looking for work? Oh, good shards. Enough to buy garb more becoming of your- Okay, stop there, if you want me to hear you out. I, I only meant uh, a well-molded woman such as you. Uh-huh. <clears throat> I heard an interesting rumor about a Banuk camp. Tame machines, the rumor said. So I, uh, I hired men to investigate. To, just investigate, that's all. Uh, those Banuk are canny. Too canny. Canny. I paid up front. Well, uh, half up front. I I've had no word back. So now you're hiring someone to find the last men you hired. <laughs> They're a sunk cost. This rumor's worth more to me. So is there any more to the rumor about this camp? <laughs> the last bunch just wanted to know about the reward. <laughs> You're a smart one. I am. This camp isn't even big enough for a name up where the snow won't thaw. They say the Banuk there live alongside machines. Peaceful as you like. Keep them, use them, sing to them. If it's true, if we learn how they do it, think how valuable that would be to all the tribes yep when you say valuable you mean they'd pay you for it girl i'm not made of straw are you some kind of merchant you don't seem to have any wares mm, more of an explorer but you send other people to do your exploring <clears throat> all right more of an opportunist uh, girl Nora, girl. <clears throat> Huntress. We live in a world of opportunities. He's trying. A risky opportunity. Bless him. He's but trying. Why should risk stand in the way of a lucrative prospect for the likes of me? All right. I'm more of a gambler. <laughs> I'm a trader. I'm an opportunist. I'm a gambler. I'm... He's... He's lots of things. What can you tell me about the Banuk? The Banuk women. Snow witches all. Cold eyes, cold... <clears throat> Hands? They choose to live up there in Van Ur, in the ice. Trying to have a conversation. It's like 
chipping them out of the stuff. They prefer machines for company. That's why I'm putting my shards on this rumor. Then they might not want outsiders to know about this place. <laughs> Their mystic act. No care for possessions, for luxuries. Pile of slag. Those people bargain harder than the winter frost. If I did look into your rumor... You won't need to climb up the shoulders of the world for it. It's on the edge of Banuk land, beneath the anvil of the moon. And you look like you know your way around the savage east. Uh, um, the east. If it's true they walk among machines without fear in this camp, well... You can't miss that, can you? It's true. Payment on return. Ha! <laughs> ah. He definitely changed his tune. All right, let's go do this one. So many people. That must be the spire. Can I you a reasonable share of a lucrative opportunity? What spire? Like, what is the spot? Uh, am I allowed to be here? <laughs> 